Hi guys, for this demo, we'll discuss on how to use this new extension called Thunder Client in VS Code. Also, we'll be using a JSON REST API package to perform our HTTP requests. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. For this demo, I'll be using Windows 10. Any OS will do as long you have installed your IDE, which is the PS code. Now, we need to create a folder. And I call it REST API. And I'm going to open this folder in VS Code. Now, now we have a clean uh, installation here. So, but first, what are the requirements? To start with, we'll be installing our extension package, which is the Thunder client. So we need to get it from here. Search for Thunder client, which is this one. And click install. Okay, now if it is installed, the next thing we need to do is we need to create an npm install for our package. So let's say npm git and this way. Okay, for our demonstration, We'll be using the package called JSON server. But since uh, uh, this is not allowed in local, so we're going to install our package globally. So this is the command. This here. So it depends on your internet. Uh, we need to wait for this one. So what is JSON server? So JSON server is a is a is a server that can run an application. I mean, can run your JSON file like a REST API server. So later, once we finish this, we will create we will create our very own uh, JSON file to run it in JSON server. Okay. So now, this is installed. I need to clear this one here. So for the requirements, uh, like I said, uh, we need to create a JSON file for this server to run. So for the JSON file, I'll be calling, calling it movies.json. Now, for this example, uh, we'll be creating a very basic JSON code. So let's say I call this movies. We need to hit save. Now, we need to call uh, this JSON and activate this in our JSON server. To run this, we need to type json dash server dash dash watch dash dash p 4000 which is the port that we're going to use and movies that json hit enter okay now as you can see our our server is now up and running. Now to check this one, we need to see and click this in our browser. Okay. 
Okay, good. So, so it means that once we show in this manner, so which means that we're already and we can start our REST API using Thunder Client. Now, to start with, the first thing we need to know is we need to check first our Thunder Client. So this is our Thunder Client. Similar to Postman, we can create a request. Also, you can also create a collection and an environment. Now about for this demo, we only perform only the basic requests. And later on, you can explore it on your own. So to start with, we'll be going to perform a post request. So our target is we need to populate this data here using Thunder Client with a post request. Now, to start, we need to create this new request. Okay. So take note. Uh, we need to move this closer here. Okay. Our URL, we need to use this one here and paste it from here. We need to perform a post request. Okay. Now, uh, we need to set our body to send a request for this one. So let's say here, into our body, we'll be using a JSON format. So let's say the first field I'm going to use is title. Let's say the title of the movies. Uh, okay. So let's say Mortal Kombat. Okay. Then, of course, we need to pick the post. Then perform the send command here. And click send. Okay. So, as you notice, our post request is succeed. So, we need to check from our mobi.json. There you go. So, our first entry in post request, we have now our first rows here. Now, I'm planning is to add, add more for this one. So, let's say we need to add Godzilla versus Kong. Okay. And one more. So let's say Venom. Okay, so let's check. Notice here that whenever I insert our title, it will auto create a series of ID number. Okay. Now our pause is seems good. So the next thing we need to do is to patch this record. So the next record will be, we need to create another file, another request. So same, we need to copy this one here. Copy this URL. And we're going to perform a get command. Okay. Now we need to specify the ID for our record. So what, which ID? Okay. So let's say I'm going to pick this one. Godzilla versus Kong. This is ID number two. So when we go back there, going to assign the ID, which is the two. There you go. So now, the get request, we see here, in this place that ID two, is Godzilla versus Kong. Good. Now the next one, we need to perform a update method. So again, we need to create another request. 
Uh, let's say we're going to copy this one here and paste it here. A little closer. So this time, for us to perform an update, we need to use the put method. Okay. Now, what are the things that we need to update? Okay. Let's say for this one. For ID number for ID two, this title Godzilla versus Kong. <clears throat> so in here, we'll update that values. So we need to use or assign it in the body. Call it as a JSON. Okay. So let's say I'm going to change this to Mr. Bim. Okay, so let's try. We need Sam. Okay, so we that's a bad request. So let's see why. Uh, yeah, it's because when I copy this one, we have a comma here. So this is a bad request. So again, so hopefully this is okay. So we need to hit again with Sam button. And there you go. Now our ID number here is now Mr. Bean. Okay, on the next request, we'll be implementing the next method, which is the patch. So we're in, in this method, we need to change the content. Also, we will create another field for this column. Okay, so and again, we need to create a new request. Let's move a little closer. Okay, let's say this one. Okay, I'll copy this method here. And put it in here. So let's say, let's pick another from here. Okay, I'll be using the ID number three, which is Venom. Okay, so uh, we change it from here. But this time we're going to use patch. Okay, now notice here, we're going to perform the same. So to make it uh, quick, uh, I just going to copy this row here and then paste it in our patch okay okay so let's say i'm going to change the title here mr beam and i'm going to add another field let's say yaktor so the actor, let's say Rowan at Kimson. It's comma. Okay. So what what we're going to target here? First, it will change the content of the title. Second, it will add another field which is actor with the content of Rowan Atkinson. So let's try with the same here. There you go. Now let's check our movie.json. Okay. So as, as you can see, our patch request is succeed. So next, we need to do is we need to delete this record here. So in that record or that method is what we call the delete method or the delete HTTP request. So again, we need to copy or create a new request. And let's say we're going to copy this URL. Okay, here. So, yeah, we need to 
let's say we're going to delete the this uh, row here mr beam so i'm going to pick mr beam which is the third here and we assign the delete request then we hit send good so now let's check by clicking the movie.json good now as you can see using thunder client is much easy unlike before if you're using postman you need to install it outside the package now what's the good thing with bs code it provides this new extension which is very useful as a developer now if you enjoy this topic hopefully you guys uh, use this uh, extension and use it in your any programming development that you will later on create in the future so if you like this video please hit the like button and share and see you guys on the next demo cheers